Hey everyone, welcome to Health Informer. Hair graying at a very young age has become a problem that affects many in the young age group. When this happens to very young children, they are taken to a doctor. The doctor performs all the necessary investigations. When it occurs in adults, they usually choose to apply hair color to hide the grays. Some may consider this to be a trendy, salt and pepper look and carry on with it with style. Graying of hair was once seen in those over the age of 45 or 50 and viewed as a sign of aging. But now graying starts so young that it is considered fashionable. In this video, we are going to share the real causes of premature graying and the best foods to eat to prevent premature graying. Let's get started. What causes premature graying? Let me explain. Melanocytes are small cells that are responsible for giving our hair its black color. Asians have high levels of melanocytes, which is why their hair is a nice, dark black color. The hair will appear blonde if the melanocytes are low. Blonde hair is a common feature among Americans and Europeans. Hair begins graying when its melanocytes are destroyed. Here is how melanocytes are destroyed. Hydrogen peroxide that is produced in the body gets deposited in the tissues where hair is formed, causing the melanocytes to die. It is common for people to think of hydrogen peroxide as a chemical used to clean and dress wounds. Hydrogen peroxide serves as the first line of defense for our immune system as well. Frequently, our bodies produce hydrogen peroxide to destroy germs entering our bodies, dead cells within our bodies, and genetically transformed cells. Whenever there is a problem with a part of the body, hydrogen peroxide is produced and it flows to this area to destroy harmful cells. We have another enzyme called catalase that continuously breaks down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. In contrast, when catalase is reduced or hydrogen peroxide production is increased, it is deposited in hair strands and causes the melanocytes there to be destroyed. As a result, the hair turns gray. Here are some conditions that can cause premature graying. One of the most critical factors is a family history of premature graying. People think that their parents started getting gray hair when they were in their 40s, but now they are getting gray hair in their 20s. The explanation for this is that their way of life and the surroundings in which they lived were quite different from ours. We now live a highly hectic lifestyle, as you are aware, and the nutrition that reaches our bodies fluctuates as a result. Our lifestyles are diverse, as is our environment. This shift in lifestyle, along with a family history of premature graying, causes early graying. Secondly, any autoimmune disease in our body, as you may know, produces hydrogen peroxide to destroy any outside, harmful substances. Any organ of the body can be affected by autoimmune diseases. For example, the immune system may be hyperactive if there is a prolonged cold, sneezing, allergies, or other symptoms. If you have thyroid autoimmune illness, asthma, or any type of arthritis, your immune cells may be overactive, and hydrogen peroxide may be produced in large quantities. This could cause the melanocytes in the hair to die, resulting in hair graying. As a result, people who suffer from autoimmune diseases or cancer or who have undergone chemotherapy will start to gray their hair. Graying has been seen in some people after certain surgeries. This is also due to the increased immune system activation and hydrogen peroxide production that occurs in the surgical area. A decrease in the enzyme catalase could result in graying. Catalase enzyme levels may be reduced by genetic conditions, as well as increased stress on the body's tissues. Graying of hair is not caused by increased stress, as believed by many. Not only that, but some of the colors and chemicals we use in our hair can cause premature graying. You may have heard people say they only had a few gray hairs, but after using a hair dye, the graying increased. The hydrogen peroxide used as a bleaching agent in many hair dyes is to blame for this. When hydrogen peroxide containing colors or dyes are used, the melanin in the surrounding hair strands is destroyed, and the hair grays in large numbers. Are you enjoying this video? If yes, hit the like button, that is much appreciated. How to prevent premature graying with certain foods and increase catalase levels. Few foods can help people who are prone to premature graying. The fruits, vegetables, and protein that are readily available in our environment are the most important. I'll go over some of the most important vitamins and minerals found in food. Green vegetables high in iron and folic acid, especially leafy vegetables, should be consumed from childhood. To activate the catalase enzyme in our blood, we must consume as many amaranth, drumstick leaves, panarnava leaves, pea leaves, coriander leaves, curry leaves, and so on. In terms of vitamins and minerals, the most important are the B-complex vitamins found in grains with bran, vegetables, fish, and meat. 
selenium, copper, and magnesium are minerals that can help improve catalase enzymes. Selenium also significantly reduces inflammation in our bodies. Brazil nuts contain a high concentration of selenium. It resembles a jackfruit seed. It can also be found in mushrooms, saltwater fish, shellfish, and other organisms. Copper can be found in abundance in honey, animal liver, and so on. As a result, these must be given to children regularly. Magnesium is abundant in foods such as vegetables, fish meats, etc. Additionally, sprouted pulses and grains are high in magnesium. Aside from almonds, carrots, beets, gooseberries, and other fruits and vegetables should be consumed regularly. People frequently prepare specific oils for dark hair. Almond oil can be used to make these oils. However, finding the original almond oil is becoming increasingly difficult. Apply a few drops of gooseberry juice to the scalp with almond oil. This will help to prevent excessive hydrogen peroxide deposition in the cells, thereby protecting the hair follicles. Also, omega-3 fatty acid-rich fish such as tuna, mackerel, sardines, and others must be consumed in large quantities. We can also eat sprouted wheat, which can be eaten raw or cooked, to improve the melanocytes in our hair follicles. Fruits such as cherry apple, avocado, and watermelon should be consumed regularly. These will also stimulate melanocytes. Consuming vegetables such as broccoli, carrots, sweet potatoes, and garlic regularly is essential. These two boost the catalase enzyme and give the hair a dark color. Only by following these eating habits can we prevent premature graying of hair nowadays. Graying can occur in small children who are prone to autoimmune disease. For example, children with dry skin, allergies with persistent sneezing, cold, nasal obstruction, and so on, may all have premature graying of hair. Following this food habit can help to prevent premature graying as well. So, I believe you understand the cause of premature graying and why it is observed in youngsters. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please like and share this information with your family and friends about dietary modifications for such people. And be sure to subscribe, because more incredible content is on the way. Thanks for watching.